Hi, I'm Sarah Belcher and I'm an ESRI instructor. Today I'm going to talk to you about the pending list. The pending list is something we find in Experience Builder when we're building an experience in the Builder interface. In Experience Builder, we have the ability to customize our page layouts based on the screen size of a device. The pending list plays an important role in this workflow. I'm going to show you three ways that you can utilize the pending list to help you manage your auto and custom page layouts. We can find the pending list from the Insert Widget button under the Pending tab. Here is an experience that I've been working on. Right now, we're viewing this experience in the large screen device and editing our page for large screen devices. In Experience Builder, we can view and customize our page layouts for medium and small screen devices. Currently, all of our device modes are set to auto, meaning that they automatically sync the page layout to our large screen device layout. To customize our page layouts, it's as easy as clicking a button. When we customize our page layout, we can change the size and position of the elements on our page without impacting the auto layout. For example, I can take this widget controller and align it to the center and snap it to the bottom of my page. When we need to change some setting within the configurations, like for example, the size of this text in our header, we're gonna need to use the pending list. To change the size of our text in our header, I'm gonna click Edit Header and select the text widget. From here in the Quick Access Toolbar, I can duplicate the widget. Notice we have two text widgets here now on the canvas, as well as in our page outline. From the page outline, I'm gonna select the original widget and move it to the pending list. We can then work with the copy of our text widget to change the size of the text. If we now take a look at our auto large screen device layout, we can see that the title text is still the same size. Sometimes our app needs change and we're gonna to need to add a widget or an element to our page layout. When we're working with auto and custom layouts, if we make a change to our auto layout, it's not going to automatically show up in our custom page layout. Let's go ahead and add a widget to our auto layout here. I'm gonna search for the draw widget and we'll drag and drop it and add it to our widget controller. If we take a look at the medium screen device mode, we see that draw widget in the widget controller because this is set to auto. If we take a look at our custom small screen device page layout, it's not showing. However, if we go to the pending list, we can easily drag and drop and add that widget into the custom layout. Another great use for the pending list is simply for page organization. When we start to work with more complex page layouts with several widgets nested within one another, it can be difficult to select an individual widget on the canvas to move it. Instead, we can do this through the page outline and using the pending list. If I click on the page layout button, we can view the page outline. From here, I can isolate the widget that I'm interested in moving, select it, and move it to the pending list. Then from the insert widget button and the pending tab, I can drag and drop the widget and reposition it on my page. So there you have it, three ways that you can use the pending list to help you manage your custom and auto page layouts in Experience Builder. What ways do you use the pending list? Feel free to add your tips to the comments.